Prince Brat, written by Anthony Moschini, illustrated by Noella Bori. Prince Brat was illustrated and animated by Noella Bori. There once was a boy who called himself Prince. He was so mean, he made the Queen Mother wince. He yelled at the guards who worked in the yard. He screamed at the cooks and gave them dirty looks. <laughs> and whenever a princess would come over to play, he'd be mean and nasty and would chase her away. He never asked for anything. He always demanded. Never a please or a thank you or a may I was added. He would scream and cry if he did not get his way. Until finally, the king threw up his hands in dismay. He said, son, I am through with all this bad behavior. You must learn your lesson sooner or later. You scream every day, I want this, I want that. From this day forward, you'll be known as Prince Brat. So Prince Brat ran away with a frown on his face. I will show them, he said. I will find my own place. So out into the kingdom, Prince Bratty did go. But where he was going, he didn't really know. He came upon a great stone bridge and started to cross. A deep rumbling voice said, excuse me, are you lost? <coughs> a big hairy bridge troll came out into sight. The prince said, I am the prince, I'll go where I like. Say the magic work and over my bridge you will pass. The prince thought a minute and then said at last, I know no magic word, but you must do as I say, for I am the prince, you see. Now get out of my way. The troll started with a growl and exclaimed, Enough of that. You are no prince. You act like a brat. You don't know the magic word you shall not pass. It's my breakfast you'll be if you don't run away fast. So he ran and he walked just as fast as he could till he found a pond that lay deep in the woods. He was so tired and thirsty. All he wanted was a drink. Then all of the sudden, there came a terrible stink, and out of the water jumped a smelly blue witch. She said, what are you doing? With a shake and a twist, he said, I'm taking a drink. I'm so thirsty, can't you see? Well, you must ask me first. The pond belongs to me. Say the magic words, and I will quench your thirst. The prince got so mad that he thought he would burst. I know no magic words, but you must do as I say, for I'm the prince, you see. Now give me my way. The witch laughed and cackled and said, enough of that. You are no prince. You act like a brat. I will give you one chance to prove your royalty to me. You must learn the magic words or a frog forever be. Then poof, in an instant she was gone in the fog. And there sat the prince, a frog on a log. He sat there and though, many years went by. And all he could do was sit and eat flies. Then one day while Prince Frog was jumping up high, there came a princess wandering by. The prince jumped into her lap and looked her right in the face. You must get me out of here, he exclaimed. I don't belong in this place. A smelly old witch placed me under a spell. I'm no frog, I'm a prince. Can you not tell? She looked at him with wonder and wide eyes of surprise, then said, but you look like a frog and you even eat flies. A frog that is a prince. She shook her head in dismay. Sounds like you've told me a fairy tale today. Well, don't you know I've heard many stories like this? If I remember correctly, you need a princess to kiss. Is that the answer that will set me free? She said, say the magic word and we shall see. Magic words, I know none. That's how I got this way. All for one reason, I didn't know what to say. Now if you know fairy tales the way every child should, then maybe you know the magic words to get the prince out of the woods. 
The magic words are please and thank you in words of politeness, and they must all be used with smiles and niceness. He smiled a big frog's smile and said, Princess, please kiss me. Then poof, in the smoke he was a prince again quickly. From that day forward, the prince said, please and thank you, whenever he should. He always remembered the troll and the witch in the woods. He was never called Prince Brat again. He was polite in every way, because he knew the magic words, and he used them every day. Now the story is over, and it's been read to you. The magic words to remember are Good job, and thank you.